The adrenaline of change is an amazing experience. To travel, to explore, and to persevere through a level of uncertainty is my definition of adventure. The final days of summer have arrived as a hollow northerly wind sweeps across the forest for all to feel. I have been studying the weather and awaiting this moment for months. Currently, the water levels are low, temperatures are warm, and the river appears to be vacant of any salmon species. Our goal over the next three days is to camp through massive cold fronts as the seasons change and the first runs of Chinook salmon begin to migrate up our tributaries. So here we go and you're riding with us through gusting winds, heavy rains, and violent thunderstorms. Welcome back to another episode of Adventure Chasing. the smiles on these faces, yeah! I don't think words could describe the excitement radiating off all three of us right now. <laughs> we're going fishing, we're going we're camping. We're going fishing! <laughs> yeah, baby. Camping oh, he's fishing. excited, man. He's excited. he's excited, he gets to go fishing. shaping up to be a beautiful morning. It's 54 degrees. You can see my breath. It's gonna get 80. Sun's out. Just saw our beautiful bald eagle. We got Kyle. And I got the best fishing dog ever. Yeah, baby. And I got a box full of thunder sticks. Ooh! I've been doing one-arm pumps with a dumbbell for a week getting ready for this, baby. Ah! Gonna be game on. Well, welcome back to Camp Chrome, guys. This is our home for the next three days, and we cannot wait to see what's gonna be in store. Okay, guys, check things out here. We got Oliver. Check out our camp setup. Got our chairs. Got this beautiful spot on the river here. And we're just about ready to head out and start fishing. But look at this. It really does not get any better than this. And Kurt has got something going on over here. Slicing up some smoked Gouda for the day. <laughs> Getting the snacks going. And he was hungry, so had to throw down on a couple breakfast sandwiches real quick. Too, yeah. Bon appetit, my brother. Well, as many of you know who have watched this channel for a while, I'm not a big center pinner, but one time of the year that I thoroughly enjoy center pinning is early in the season like this for kings. There is nothing like fighting these powerful fish on a reel that's a one-to-one -one gear ratio. So for those of you who don't know what a center pin is, this reel, like I just said, is a one-to-one -one gear ratio, meaning that you can see how the bearing allows that line to just smoothly come off the reel, and it is so effective for float fishing like we're doing today. Now, we're gonna be float fishing with these custom-made floats 
They're handcrafted, precisely made floats made out of balsa wood that cut the current seams. And why that is so important is because when you're float fishing down in these deep holes that are 10 to 12 feet deep, you have to make sure your bait is directly underneath your float precisely at the depth that the fish are holding at. And if it's off by just several inches, you might not even get a bite. So this is a very technical style of fishing. And I wanted to explain that for those of you who don't know. It's very technical. There's a lot of details. When I build this rig here, every little piece of the puzzle has a meaning and has a purpose. Now you can see here how I have my weight staggered all the way up from my hook up to my float. I have small weights down by my hook here and I have larger weights as it builds up the line. And the purpose for that is you want your bait drifting a little bit faster than the upper part of your line. And that's why we stagger our weights. So you want your heaviest weights up near the top of your float and your lightest weights down near the bottom of your float. That way, as it's drifting through the water, your bait's gonna be moving a little bit faster than your float up at the top. And you're gonna have a nice precise drift right down to those fish's face. All right, here we go. Cutting into our bait here, guys. So this is our bait. We are running salmon eggs. These are fresh salmon eggs we just caught out of Lake Michigan. We got them cured up in a dyed sulfate-based cure, and that is what's gonna be our bait for our salmon. All right, guys, here we go. First official cast of 2023 salmon season has begun. As we made our first few drifts of the year, it was a very special feeling. It felt great to be back on the river, and I had been awaiting this moment since last year. The temperatures were now into the mid 80s, and as we hunted through many miles of river, it felt as if the holes were vacant of any fresh salmon. We were one of, if not the only fishing boat on the entire river, and after going several hours without a bite, we decided to switch gears and enjoy the beautiful summer weather that surely wouldn't be lasting long. The thing that I love most about fishing the early season is the sheer challenge and level of surprise when you do cross paths with a fresh Chinook that is willing to bite. Although the weather was nice and the fishing slow today, the forecast predicted a massive cold front would sweep across the region overnight while bringing heavy rains and violent thunderstorms. All we could do now is cross our fingers and hold tight as we awaited the first fall vibes to sweep down from a strong north wind. Yeah! We had a beautiful sunny day. Wind was nice to keep it cool. We went swimming. Really nice swim. Tomorrow will be a better day. It's supposed to rain. Cool, be cooler, like 15 degrees cooler than today. No sun. It's going to be a lot different. And uh, we're going to be here in the morning instead of starting late. But no fish today. And that's the way it goes. But that's the part, part of the fishing. chase part of the fishing baby part of the adventure so now kyle is going to make this unbelievable fire and make camp brownies in a dutch oven and i am so looking forward to that and i haven't brought milk so <laughs> we got milk and brownies coming up <laughs> Check this out here guys, we have some peanut butter cookie brownies we're doing up for dessert in the Dutch oven over the open fire and this is going to be a great way to cap off our day. Oh yeah, look at that. Alright guys, oh, here we go. Let's zoom in. Oh my oh. goodness. Look at that, now that is a camp dessert.
time! Coffee time! Oh yeah! Okay. Coffee in the morning, baby! Coming at ya. We woke up this morning at 5.30. Well, actually, it was at 5 o'clock. We were watching the weather last night and it said slight rain at 4, heavy rain at 5, thunderstorms at 5.30, and it was like clockwork at 5 o'clock. It let go like the heavens opened up and dumped buckets. So we decided to sleep in another hour and then the lightning storm started, which was probably a blessing that we didn't get up and go because we'd have been out there swinging graphite rods out in the waves. <laughs> so we just chilled, took an extra an hour and a half sleep in the most amazing rainstorm. It's, you gotta experience sleeping in a tent in the rain. It's soul regenerating, it's mind boggling. Alright guys, here we go. Getting some bait out. Kurt's still throwing a thunder stick. I'm going to give him some skein. We're going to do a little bit of both until we really get something dialed in here today. Fish on, baby! Oh yeah, first one! Look at him throw! Oh, oh, first cast, guys! Yeah, baby. <laughs> oh yeah! First cast! First cast! Oh, yeah. I didn't even get my rod out oh. yet! Dude. <laughs> okay, I got to get the net. I got to get the net. Oh! oh, oh, oh. 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 Man, he smashed it. I was like, there's one. Right <laughs> Woohoo! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He's going back on log jam. Oh, yeah. He's going to the logs. Oh, man. Maybe we should drift. That's back. a chrome oh, dude. Oh, look at that fish. Look at that plug sticking out of his mouth. Oh, here he comes, baby. I'm bringing him. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> First cast. First cast. Thunderstruck thunderstick, baby. <laughs> Look at that plug stuffed in its mouth. <laughs> Just oh, absolutely T boned that stick bait. <laughs> <laughs> that felt so good, man. <laughs> we fished the entire day yesterday Not without a bite. a bite. First cast. You just never know with these fish. You always have to be on your game. I threw out, I was like, there's gonna be a bite. And then, wham! Kyle's like going, whoa, whoa, wait a minute, man. I'm not ready. <laughs> and look at that, guys. Oh, what a monster. I'm not gonna do that. I know better. I know way better. We got baby. We got Oh, ho, ho. look at that. You know what? Big or small, we'll take them all. Oh, 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 you see that? Did you see that? Guys, I just had a chrome king chase my thunder stick all the way up to the sandbar, then he turned on it. Bro, I think there is a actual load of fish in here, dude. I mean, dude, I think I see fish stacked on top of fish, dude. Cause dude, I'm serious. I'm looking at it and I thought it, I thought it was logs, but they're moving and they're dark objects. And I saw three or four shoot around at the beginning when you were rigging up that were just dying. So we're shooting all around. Oh Deep, so my God. I can stand right up to it. There's one. Oh my God. Nice job. Oh, oh. He's running up river, guys. On the thunder stick, baby. On the thunder stick. Oh, it's a hog, Kurt. That is a hog. That is a hog. That is a hog. Oh my God. Oh my God, he's fall! Oh! Oh! Oh my God, he's huge! I'm not hyperventilating, man. Oh no! No, I just lost him. No! no. He's running at you. What happened? The fish is on this side. He's running at you, dude. Don't oh, dude. Here. Is he into a log? Yeah, he went around a log over there. You gotta drive me over there, dude. Okay, okay. Oh no, he's gone. I lost him. What do you want to? 
He's gone. Oh. Yeah. Oh my God. Did that was a 25 pounder at least. That fish. At least 25 pounds, at least. Oh my God. The dude. shoulders, the fish, dude, was, oh was wide. God. It was wide, it was deep, and it was long. That was oh. a river monster. What? Oh, look at the bald eagle here, guys. Look at the bald eagle flying right into this tree. Look at that. How cool of a moment is that, oh. though? How cool of a moment is that? A bald eagle lands right in this tree, and you just got oh. your butt kicked. You got oh. tore up. Dude, by a I got it on stand. the video. He was at least 12 inches from top to bottom, it man. It was a huge fish. Oh. Oh my God, that was so exciting, man. I can't believe he, he went over there and got under some and then went that way and that was the end of it, man. Oh, what a big <laughs> So he's in a snag right now. He's underneath of a log and we actually oh. saw the fish jump on the left side of the river oh, here. So he man. went under that log, threaded it, and came back oh. this way in a matter of what? Like <laughs> yeah, that. that was the most amazing battle though, dude, man. <laughs> that fish. He went over there and he purposed and went under that log and I saw how big he was. He had to have been 32 inches and I was like, oh, that's when I knew I had a hog on, man. I was like, I almost passed out. I got so excited. <laughs> A little midday torrential downpour, but you know what? This is working in our favor, and these fish are on the move right now. Guys, the fish are moving up. Right now, there's about 20 chrome fish right off the side of the boat here, but they are just not hitting anything, but they are all, all dime. Bro oh! 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 oh my God! Oh, they're circling back down. Look at them, look at them. Hawks, hawks. Oh my gosh, guys, I'm gonna have my GoPro. We're trying to stay calm, but there are a ton of fish in this hole right now. And they are all extremely chrome. And they are scared of. Very skittish fish. Can hide any time now. Well, why did that come out? Hey. Well, I'm uh, one for three. Had a couple nice ones on. Had a couple other places where we've tickled fish, but it's been kind of crazy. We see a lot of fish moving. A lot of pods. First time we've seen pods, which means there's fish just cranking up in here. We just got to find a hole that they're going to stop in, and we think we know where that's at. And so we are now proceeding to that hole, which is about two miles from here. So that'll take us about 38 seconds. First fish I've had on in two days. We didn't have our cameras running. We were just here BSing, just kind of enjoying the evening. Haven't had a bite, haven't hooked a fish in quite some time. And then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, my bobber just shot down. I set the hook. The fish just went nuts, started head shaking, going crazy, and popped off. I wasn't expecting it. Caught me with my pants down, but I hooked one. I did hook one though, so I didn't go the whole day without hooking one. Nice. Happy about that. <laughs> I'll say. Dude, at least you got one on a spawn bite. Man, I didn't think that was going to happen today. Man. Fish. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. 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 Oh, I lost him. I lost him. Where'd he go? He's right at you. Oh, there he is. Oh. Oh my God, look at the size of that fish. It's, oh, there's a log right there. Oh, oh, no. Dude, it was right there. It was pure chrome, man. It just came off. Oh. Did it break off? No, my hook stuck in the side of the boat. Oh. Come on, bud. There we go. Let's go get him, dude. Day three. Let's make it happen, guys. Day three, baby. Rock and roll. 
Rock and roll, baby. Got a fresh cup of coffee. Beautiful morning on the river. The sun's just about to start peeking up here, and we're gonna start casting. Look at that, nice and frosty on the morning. Oh, it came off. Spit the hook and came off. Right there, guys. That was exciting, though. Oh. Spit the hook and popped off. Dang it, even had the single hook on there, too. We're in such a woody hole. I gotta just lay into him, man. He's coming back up. Come on, dude, man. Come on, Kyle. If he dives, he's gonna get into wood, so I gotta put it okay, to him. Okay, you let me know, baby. I'll do what you ask. Okay, it's, it's recording. Okay. Oh my gosh. Guys, this fish is just such a freaking battle. Keep it low, guys. Keep it low, Kurt. I'm gonna flop him right back to you, okay? Get ready. Ready? Right there. Got him. Got him oh, in yeah. the net. Got him in the net, baby. Nice oh! Net. I don't have words for that, man. Oh, look that at was, that fish. That was so intense. Dude, that was. So look at that fish. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah! Woo! Oh, that is a hard <laughs> earned fish. I am. That shaking. is a hard earned <laughs> fish. I am telling you that. Well, I. That was unbelievable, man. I don't have words for that. What an incredible fight. Finally got a fish in the boat on the third day, and I couldn't be happier. First one in the river for me this season. That was freaking awesome. I'll never forget that fish. We earned this thing, man. Earned this thing. Three days of fishing. We finally each got a fish in the boat, and uh, couldn't be happier. We're in such a woody hole. I knew if I gave that fish an ounce bit of line that he would have dove down and got me in logs. When I was putting it to him, he was 50, 75 yards down below the boat and he was just skiing on top of logs and I was putting everything I had into that fish and then when he shot up river he was just beelining up the shoreline just swimming right over the tops of trees I could see limbs just sticking off the bank I could feel a couple brush against the line and just put it to him and he came right back up and uh, finally we caught a break man we caught a break the last three days have involved a level of risk which has made this adventure into a memory that will last a lifetime. After breaking a sweat to earn our catch, it gave me a great level of gratification that we accomplished what we set out to do. In a matter of days, the river would be full of fish and other anglers as well, but in this moment it felt as if this was the first king I had caught in my entire life. The feeling was addicting, but I knew that no matter how hard I tried, no fish the rest of the season would make me feel alive like this one did. Although our mission was accomplished, it was time to pick up where we left off and see if we could rally a few more before the day was over. 
Mm. Man, we, you make good coffee. Leftover brownies from the first night mm. with a cup of coffee. Mm. All right. Well, we're getting anchored in here, guys, and what we're doing right now, we're trying to target the deep holes next to a lot of structures. So on the outside edges of these bins, there's a lot of deep cuts where the current digs out big undercut banks and big trenches, and these fish are gonna be buried down in them with it being so sunny and so warm today. So we're just trying to get our bait down as deep as we can in these holes. We're parking up next to the wood, and we're gonna see if we can get a couple more fish in the boat here today. But if nothing else, at least we both have a fish in the boat on this trip. Mashed my bag. Man, totally robbed. Word, me. man. Oh, 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 Bob? oh! He's bobbling it. Come on. Oh, he bobbled it hard. He bobbed it twice, but he didn't take it under. You guys can see how crazy that is. The slightest bite can be the biggest, meanest river salmon. That's all it is. It's just a little peck sometimes, especially in the middle of the day when it's very sunny. We're gonna hook that fish. Last. Oh, there he go! There he is! There he is! There oh, he is. He oh. Right oh, he, he came, came off. Right off! You can't believe that. My bobber just completely submerged. And I reared back and I got two or three really nice heavy head shakes and then hooked back. There's one! Yep, you got him? Yep! Oh, yeah! Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. He's in something. Oh, he's out, he's out, he's out. Oh, yes. Oh. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, guys. This fish is just going bananas, man. Wow. Oh, God. oh, his head shaking. Okay. Look at that big, big light colored salmon down there, guys. Just shining in that hole, baby. Oh my goodness. Big shoulders, big shoulders. Bring his nose over here. There we go, baby. There we go. Look at the size of that oh. slab. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that no dude, way. that's at least 25 pounds, man. Here we go. Here we got a hog, baby. We got a hog. Woo. This fish took me for all I was worth, man. I hope I got that bobber down on camera. I'm not exactly sure if I was recording. Um, I hope I was. Oh, but that was crazy. This fish isn't quite as big as the last one, but it is a scrapper. Oh, God. Gosh, get ready. I'm gonna, okay, I'm gonna bring her up. I'm gonna lift straight up. I'm gonna thread the needle right in between these logs here. Okay, here we go. Here we go, baby. Here we go. Full extend. Full extend. There we go. Oh, swam out of the net. Swam out of the net. There's no head first. There we go. Nice net. There we go. Dude. Well, that was another insane battle. I am dripping sweat. It is so hot out here, but these kings are buried down in this deep hole and they are biting. And I'm absolutely exhausted. I can barely hold this fish. I can't even believe how this day and this trip has turned around. <laughs> Slime five. Slime five, baby. Yeah. This has been awesome, man. Okay, well, we are gonna get this fish flayed out here. The reason why we wanna flay it right now is just to ensure the quality of the meat because we're gonna be eating this fish for dinner. We wanna get it taken care of and put on ice so we can have the best flays possible. And now we're just gonna whack the sides off of it and get some nice flays here. All right, what are we doing for lunch here? What's oh, going on? We're doing, we're doing hash brown and crusted. Salmon nuggets delivered on lettuce wraps. It's gonna be mighty fine. 
baby. <laughs> this is the uh, salmon that we're chunking up. And you just want them to be like two inch cubes, you know, something like that. It's not real critical. You just don't want them too small. Bacon goes on it also. We forgot about the bacon. We're going to use some of that grease. But we're getting that going. We got our water boiling here. That's pretty ready for the fish. Okay, so what we do is we start off. Let me get this right because that's really hot. We get this water to boiling like that and we throw fish in there while it's boiling. It will start to turn white. What we're basically doing is slightly poaching this. It just speeds up the frying process, which sometimes is kind of tough to do in these conditions. We don't have the exact everything we need, but we get to be enough one more of those to get that roll done. Then we got these hash browns we're starting with some butter flavored Crisco which gives a lot of extra flavor. We're gonna get those cranking here in a minute. Okay I think I'm gonna switch this over to here to get these really going. So we have our hash browns going here. Kurt's boiling the fish, poaching the fish as you would say in this pot and the bacon's going on the left. They gotta stay together. Look at that. Got lucky. Got them. Got a couple of little nibblers for the dog. Oh yeah, now let's put the rest of them in. What I'm gonna do now is gonna defy logic. Shake and bake. But it has to be original pork chop flavored shake and bake. And this is the key. You're telling me we're frying this fish in butter flavored Crisco and bacon grease? Like I said, it defies logic. Be gentle not to bust them all to heck. One thing about camping, you don't have the creature comforts at home, but you just make do. Are you watching this? Look at this. Oh my. Can lay some bacon down in there. And then we're gonna do a little hash browns encrusted in there. This is a rather unique fish taco. We go for the killer salmon. bites right in there. Each bite should be representative of a bite of fish. Okay, then a little tartar sauce on it all. <laughs> that is a lettuce wrap. Oh! Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? <laughs> it brought a tear to my eye, it was so good. Oh, Kyle, take a bite of this, right here. <laughs> right here, baby, keep it together. Oh man, take a bite of that. Look at dude. that chunk of bacon just hanging out there. Wow. <laughs> Instant flavor blast. Dude, that is actually incredible. Wow. Wow. What a perfect combination. <laughs> Isn't that good? It was killer, man. Pick that up. Do a light wrap on it. Light overlap, not too much. Oh yeah, you mastered the lettuce wrap, baby. Master of the lettuce wrap. Mm. Man. Listen to that crunch. Mm. 
of course, we gotta take care of our clan, man. We had to make Oliver a big salmon steak with just a titch of butter-flavored Crisco and a little pork seasoning. He's gonna love it. Oh, he likes that. He's a hungry boy. Oh, he likes that. He likes that, buddy. We got beer cans, rubber gloves, pop cans, all up and down the bank here. Guys, as we go into this fall, remember, Keep these beautiful natural resources beautiful. Pick up after yourself. Don't leave your trash littered on the riverbank because guys like me are gonna end up picking it up for you and we really don't wanna do that. And you will most definitely hear about it if I see you doing it. So remember, this fall, keep these beautiful places clean. Or you'll be condemned for life. Or you will be condemned for life. From ever fishing the river. Forever. We'll jet boat by you and blast you with water. End of story. End of story. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my goodness, this fish is just so deep down here right now. Whew. Oh, oh, he's in wood. He's in oh, wood. Oh, you're around. Damn. Oh, he broke off. He broke off, guys. That fish was so chrome, and honestly, I took my eye off the fish for just a split second to adjust the camera, and as soon as I took my eye off that fish, I gave him just enough, and he dove down and got me in the wood. But that's the way it goes, and uh, yeah, I think we'll end this episode on that. So thanks nice. so much for watching, and uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. We're gonna probably head back. I might end it on that. That was a good way to end the day. I'll take the humble leaving. Okay everyone, before I sign off here this week, I just wanted to announce the winner of the free salmon fishing charter that I'm giving away for on the river this fall with me personally. You guys saw in a video about a month ago, I announced I was gonna be giving away this trip and all you had to do to enter to win was like, comment, and subscribe. So I took everybody's channel name, I put it into an app on my phone and had it shuffled at 100% random and the winner of this trip was Mr. T Bird One. Mr. T Bird One. I'll put the channel name right down below here and I'll put my email right down below here so all you have to do is just shoot me an email and I will get you on the schedule for a little river salmon slammage with me this fall but I just wanted to say thank you so much to everybody for your continued support it really means a lot to me and I also wanted to say thank you so much to everybody who's had interest in my guide service lately it's been pretty overwhelming trying to keep up with all the phone calls and emails and I apologize to everybody who I haven't been able to get back with right now I'm trying to find a balance in between creating content and guiding as well and as you can probably imagine things have been a little bit scattered to say the least so thank you so much to everybody for your support and we will see you back here next Sunday at 5 p.m. in our next episode. But until then, fish on, baby.